Public performance. Do not be fooled into thinking it means that only you can play your songs out in public. Um, it sound, sounds like that, but really what uh, we're going back to the exclusive rights. Public performance is one of the exclusive rights given to you. So that means basically anytime there's a public performance of your song, uh, you have to agree to it under copyright law. Um, that can get a little heavy in transaction costs, as you can imagine. Um, the radio station isn't going to call you every time that your song is played, and the TV station. Theoretically, you could prevent, theoretically, you could prevent a radio station or a television station from playing your song. But in my experience in the last 30 years or something, people are falling over each other clawing over each other to get their songs on TV and in radio. So um, what happens is that television stations, radio stations, gap stores, malls, uh, auditoriums, bars that play music, uh, et cetera, et cetera, anywhere that music is played to the public um, have to pay for it. They have to pay the song copyright holders. Okay, um, and how is this accomplished? It's accomplished through the public performance societies. In the United States, those societies are ASCAP, BMI, and CSAC. And so, how does this work? Okay, well, I write a song, so, and I know it's going to be on the radio and on television, or at least I hope so. I join one of these societies. Let's say I join BMI. I become a member of BMI. And besides me, there's 100,000 other people or 200,000 or 300,000 songwriters who have also joined BMI. BMI then goes out on behalf of all of us and they go to every television station and radio station and gap store and nightclub, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and they say, hey, you're pay playing our music publicly. Please uh, enter into a license agreement with us. Uh, we'll set a, a fair fee and you will pay us. We'll, uh, BMI collects all the money, puts it in a pot, and then tries to guess, no, tries to, uh, to uh, give out to its members the money proportionally. So if, if, if my song is played on the radio, I actually got a BMI check when I was a musician. Um, we got a lot of radio play, say in the Boston area, and I got a check for $7.81. Uh, that same year, uh, REM, for their songs, probably got a check of $781,000 in, in change. So. Uh, it depends on how, how many times your song is played. And it's not an exact science, but it's uh, extrapolated from the information.